Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, Tony Olaoye. And if it's your first time stopping by, you are most definitely welcome. So today's video is a hair review and hair installation slash styling video. My hair is from Ali Sugar Hair on AliExpress. I was sent four bundles of 28 inches and an 18 inch frontal. Here is the thing though. The 28 inches is loose wave while the 18 inch frontal is body wave. So what I had to do, I actually had to curl the frontal to match the curl pattern of the rest of the hair, okay? So that's what I had to do. And if you don't want to go through all of that stress, make sure you actually get a lace closure that's the same texture with the hair because I believe they have the same curl pattern in the closure, just not the frontal. But right now I'm kind of used to wearing frontals and I don't see myself going back to closures. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go through that stress of getting two different hair textures. But I feel like it actually did work out. I actually love this hair. I love everything, everything, everything about it. So make sure you guys sit tight, relax. I'm going to give you guys the pros and the cons of this hair. And I'm also going to show you guys how I was able to style my hair as well. Now the reason I'm actually giving you guys pros and cons of this hair is because it's my first time trying hair from this hair company and if I've not worked with them before it's always better for me to let you guys know everything oh before we start also make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below if you're not subscribed to my channel I would truly truly appreciate it and yeah we can get started right now so these are the four bundles of the brazilian hair 28 inch loose wave hair and also one 18 inch body wave hair as well they're both brazilian hair I ended up making the hair into a wig using the elastic band method and as you guys can see this is what the hair looks like i know on top of the hair is looking a little bit dry but trust me it doesn't feel dry at all as you can see i'm running my fingers freely through the hair and that's also because the frontal curl pattern doesn't really match the rest of the hair but moving on I'm going to take a brand new pair of tweezers I believe these are the makeup addiction cosmetics tweezers and I'm just going to go ahead to start plucking my front out to make sure that the hairline looks a little bit more natural and so it frames my face properly as well <laughs> So now that I'm done plucking my frontal, I feel like I over plucked it a little bit, but that's completely fine. I'm going to go ahead and put the wig onto my head. I just drag it forward until I no longer see my wig cap. This way, the wig sits naturally on my forehead and on my hairline. I'm just looking at the mirror to sort of frame my face to it as well. And I'm going to go ahead and clip the frontal out of the way and take my pair of shears i know these shears are so big you guys always comment about this but yeah it's the only one i have i'm going to use this to cut off the excess lace and i'm going to take my got to be ultra styling gel and you know just put a little bit right on my finger and put this on the perimeter of my forehead where the lace is going to rest so at this point, I am using my rat tail comb to just press down the lace frontal onto the hair gel, making sure my blow dry is also using cold air as well. This way it actually protects my edges from any heat damage because you guys know that edges are so sensitive and with this age of lace frontal, like those edges are coming off. So using your blow dry on cold air is a way to actually protect your edges. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and take out the clips in my hair. And I know that I look like a lion with this hair, but it's whatever, it's cool. Next up is for me to actually put a center part into my lace frontal. I'm using my rat tail comb for that. And as you guys can see, this is what my center part looks like. Easy peasy. Next step is to take some... That was my cat, guys. Please ignore that. Next up is to take some hair serum and just use this all over my hair. And this is also serves as heat protecting room as well. So, you know, no damage done. I'm going to take this portion of my lace frontal and use my small wand to just start curling the hair so that the frontal matches the rest of the body of the hair. So once each piece is done, I actually pull on the curl so that it doesn't get full and it's quite loose as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this same step everywhere on my frontal and yeah.
Now that my frontal is all straightened, I'm going to go ahead and use my spray bottle to spray some water all over the body of the hair, especially on the bundles. Um, you know, just to define the curls a little bit more. And pretty much, this is what the hair looks like. I feel like the frontal is definitely more blended in. With the rest of the hair so now it's time for some baby hairs i'm just going to take a tiny section like so and just cut off the piece right there to make it a little bit short and more manageable i'm going to use my hairbrush and some got to be hair gel to just slip down my baby hairs just in front i'm not doing throughout the whole perimeter of the hair just pretty much where my part is then I'm going to go ahead to apply some powder on the part of my hair like so to just make it look a little bit more blended in. Then I'm going to go ahead and comb out the curls like on top just a little bit more so I don't have that weird wave. Then I'm going to take my Bio Silk Hair Serum and use it to blend out the powder just a little bit and apply the excess onto the lace frontal itself. So yeah guys, that is pretty much it for the styling part of this hair. Oh, I like. I'm also going to take some powder and apply this to the perimeter of my lace frontal as well so that everything looks a little bit more blended in. And yeah guys, finally we are done with the styling. So now I'm going to move on to the pros and cons of this hair. And the reason I'm doing this is because this is my first time actually trying hair from this hair company um so i have to let you guys know all the pros and all the cons of the hair and it's up to you guys to decide whether or not you love the hair or not but personally overall i feel like the hair is okay um so the first pro of the hair is curl pattern on the hair is actually very very nice um i would not advise you to straighten this hair at all i was going to straighten my hair and i was like you know what that's going to destroy the curls number two pro this hair is so full um i really really love how full the hair is um it's true to length definitely true to length because i actually ended up straightening like just this small piece on the nip of my neck i noticed that the hair was actually a little bit longer than 28 inches when it was straight so yeah the hair is definitely true to length the next thing about the hair is that um when they send it to you it actually delivers fast so yeah three days i got my hair by my door and that was good that was amazing then the last pro about this hair is that it actually feels luscious like when you run your fingers through the hair it feels nice it feels luscious it does not mat at all there's no matting at the back of my neck okay and i wore this hair to the club um last week i know the way your wigs like i don't know but is it just me but sometimes when you go to the club like you're sweating a lot and doing all those things your wig just starts acting a little bit funny well i took this hair to the club last week um and i was doing lots of dancing so i was sweating and everything the hair was not getting matte it was not like having that weird thing you know it was still nice it was still okay the only thing is that like my frontal hair gel started melting off so when i got to the car i realized that my wig was like here but that was okay i really didn't care so yeah that's like the only thing and i haven't even washed the hair since that time and as you guys can see like my hair is not like tangled or matte i'm running my fingers through the hair and everything is still okay everything is still nice so yeah those are all the pros of the hair okay so moving on to the cons of this hair what i noticed with this especially with the frontal was um bleaching the frontal of this hair makes the frontal a little bit weak so um the person that made this hair into a week for me she bleached the frontal and she does that with like all my wigs that she makes for me because i also request that as well and then i noticed that like if i pull on the frontal too hard like the hair actually plucks out so if i were you i would not really bleach the frontal of this hair if not it might weaken your frontal instead you can put powder on it or if you bleach it at all make sure you do not leave the bleach on for that long but other than that the hair is really really lovely it's beautiful it's luscious i love the length i love the curl pattern it just reminds me of those type of wigs that i would definitely wear to the beach because it has like this nice messy vibe that i love um I just like if I went to the beach, I'm going to be looking so good, so cute, so hot underneath the sun in my bathing suits, my Ankara bathing suits. I can just imagine like the whole look together. And that's why I didn't really want to manipulate the hair so much. I didn't really want to dye it, color it, cut it, change the curl pattern. I was like, you know what, Tony, just see this hair like this with the curl pattern. And yeah, I am definitely, definitely pleased with the hair. And make sure you guys check 
the info section right down below for everything you need to know like the links and whatever whatever and all the details like the music i'm going to use in this video and all of that stuff everything is going to be listed right down below in the description bar so make sure you guys go check that out and if you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure you click on that subscribe button right down below and until next time guys peace